When I first open up a brand new DAW, the first thing I'm trying to figure out is how do I get my samples and my files into this app? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to import your audio samples as well as your MIDI files into Beatmaker 3 so that you can spend less time searching for files and more time making dope music. <music> What is up creatives? I'm Jarrell, your music technologist, here to help you master the tech you need to make music freely. I make weekly tip and tutorial videos as well as gear reviews on all things music production. If you enjoy content like that, go ahead and hit that like button, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in, make sure you've got your iPad ready and I'm gonna pull up the files app right now. So we're gonna go into our files here. The first thing you need to think about when you're setting up your file import, you need to make sure all of your files are already organized. So before we get to importing anything, think about your file structure. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what mine looks like. So right in here, I'm gonna go into Beatmaker 3. This is where I have mine saved and I'll show you, that's how we're gonna import it as well. But have this file structure already set up before you go to import. So uh, I have my MIDI files in their own folder, and then I have a project stems and samples folder, and this is where I keep um, any files that I am trying to import for a specific project. So anything that's, you know, that I just pulled off the internet or something and I wanna drag into a specific project, that's where that'll go. And then uh, in the samples folders where I keep the majority of my samples. So I've got a splice sounds from desktop folder and then a non-splice folder. So anything that is uh, not from splice, I've got it in here and they're all organized um, by you know where they came from, what pack they are and whatnot. So going back, uh, we have my splice sounds. And one thing that's really important to think about is when you are uh, putting your splice sounds into your files is try to keep your same uh, file structure as splice does by default. Um, that way what I can do is anytime I update my files, uh, my samples from splice on my desktop, I can just drag it straight out of my iCloud into here without changing anything and Beatmaker 3 will have no trouble finding my files because I didn't tweak with the file system at all. So when I click this folder, everything in here is exactly like it is on my desktop, which is good. We want that. So for those of you using splice, pro tip. All right, um, and if we go back, I just have a few kits that I haven't quite organized yet, and then I have some extra files which are also not particularly organized. But these main three folders are where the majority of the organization is happening. So whatever your file system is, just make sure you have one before you get started. All right, next. The way you import your files is you need to put everything into the imports folder of Beatmaker 3. So we're gonna go back right now. Um, this is the main iPad storage. You click Beatmaker 3. Let me switch the camera real quick. And then the next thing you'll click is Imports. And then in here is everything I just showed you. So once you've done that, then we can get into opening Beatmaker 3 and I can show you exactly what the process is for that. So let's do that. Pull up Beatmaker 3. Cool. Um, so we're gonna open session. Oh, you know what? We'll probably wanna make a new one. Um, by default, there's a new session opened. So the thing you wanna do is go ahead and go to this file folder app right here, this section, and then you'll click imports. And this is where you'll see the file system that you just put in there. Now, this is very important. If you don't see the file system that you just put in, the, the most important thing you wanna do is first go into your settings wheel. Sorry, let me switch. First, you wanna go into your settings wheel here and then you're gonna to wanna to go to settings and behaviors, and you're gonna to wanna to re-scan database. This is a very crucial step. Don't skip this because um, if you don't do this, you might not get all of your files showing, and I'll show you in a second, you might not get them 
to show up in your search for your samples, which is what you want to do. So we'll just give this a second to finish scanning. Um, it might take a while depending on how many samples you have. I happen to have a ton, so we're at 50%. We'll let that load for a second. In the meantime, definitely make sure you give this video a like. What that does is it tells the YouTube algorithm that you like this content and you want to see more of it. And YouTube will start to put more content like this in front of you. And it'll actually, the more you engage with this content, it'll start to push this video out to more people, which is a win, win, win. So definitely do that. All right, we are chilling at 97%. And we're good to go, perfect. So now what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and go back to our imports folder. Everything should be here now. So uh, like I said, I have my samples folder, my project stems and samples folder, and then I also have my MIDI files folder. Now, the way you drag these files into Beatmaker 3 is very simple. There's a few different ways to do it. So I'll show you a couple. Right now I have a blank bank loaded and by default that will be up as soon as you open Beatmaker 3. Um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and load up some samples. We'll go to my splice sounds and uh, one drum kit that I happen to really like is Decap. We'll pull those up. We'll go to drums, one shots. Alright, and we'll just load up some percussion. So we got a kick there. We'll go back. We've got some hi-hats here. Closed hi-hat. Just drag that over. Make sure I got the headphones ready. All right. And then we want to add a snare. Nice. All right, there we go. Super easy. All you had to do is drag and drop. Another thing you can do uh, is you can press the pad that you want, um, select the sample that you want, and hit load sample, and that'll load it as well. Um, so another way to do it is sometimes you don't want to have you know separate samples for um, for playing in on pads. Sometimes you just want the sample to be an audio file in your playlist. So what you're going to do is over here you're going to make sure in this playlist tab here we clicked out of the banks and we went over here and we're going to add a new audio track. So after that we're going to go back up in this hamburger menu here. We'll try to make our way back to our file system. And what you want to do is just make sure you're back in the imports folder. And that's where we can go to import anything we want. So um, I know for a fact that in my project stems and samples, I should have something melodic. Uh, yeah, I have a whole track in here. So let's do a little jingle instrumental. All right, and now that we have that loaded, we can play it. Um, and it's as simple as that. If you want to edit it, it, it's a little bit more complex. Maybe I'll cover that in another video, but that is that. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section. If you want, definitely uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I respond to all the DMs that I get, so definitely do that. Um, until next time, creatives, go make something dope, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.